How's it going guys? It's new here. So in this video I will show you how to create a brick breaker game and that's the game that I will show you how to create. But first let's play. Okay. So uh, I lose, but anyways, uh, I know you want to create a game like that, and that's why you are here. So let us go from the beginning. How I created this game. So first of all, we have to create sprites. That's very important, my dear friends. Uh, so we need a ball. We need a ball. That's very important, right? So let's rename it to sprite ball and then we need a a bat from which we'll hit that ball right on the ball and then we need some stones so stones are very important my dear friends because without stones you the game would be actually useless so but we need some sub images such as yeah uh, that one that one and such as such as that one and yeah so let's rename it to stone now we don't need to actually repeat the process we will do the same with using a different method which I'll show you so we will just change the hue of the stone okay green is not that bad so that's the last one now now we need to create objects you know what objects are right they are just a piece of code given to uh, ob <laughs> I can't explain actually sorry You, you can say it's a set of events and accents, accents actually, accents. Oh, okay. I can't explain, I'm sorry. I'm not good at explaining. I just do stuff and you see how I'm doing and that's what, that's how it goes. Now, we need to set movement for the bat, right? That when I press left, it'll go left. And when I press right, it'll go right. So, that's super easy actually we will use the jump to position action for this um, no let's add that to 10 and in this similar way we will create another event that is when right key, right key is pressed then okay let's try if okay so the game it didn't work actually as I expected not and the so okay I forgot to check the relative checkbox and that's why it happened if you know what I mean relative right increment and that's what it is so that was perfect actually and uh, now we need to create an object of these tones or name it as enemy but we won't create uh, objects, different objects for the for the, of different colors, right? That would be so boring. We would actually create an event um, that would give the same object different colors, right? If you know what I mean, how I'm doing this stuff. Remember to set the speed to zero. Okay, if there are more than one sub images. Okay, so now we need to place the object in the room. That's very important. If you don't, then there's no way that I could help you or in, that you could actually have that you could actually expect the object to be on the room if you have not placed them in the room. So no, I think the Y should be something like. 28 the best yeah 28 so okay we're done now wait a second 
Wait a second. I know that didn't work and I know why it didn't work because actually what if the uh, what if none of these chances occur? What if none of these chances occur, right? So we need to set the default sprite index and default sprite in may a default sprite speed to zero. And that's how it is. That's running. Oh, please, 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 please. Come on, 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 come on. Yes, so. But we need a ball in the room, right? Because why if there's no ball, then the game would be actually useless. Completely useless. Okay, we need the ball to be in the middle. Aha, uh -huh. just what I wanted. Uh, but I think still there's something missing. Let's see what it is. Okay. Uh, events. We need to actually set motion to the ball. And if you know what I mean. Because if there's no motion, then there's no way that we could play the game in the way we want. So when the ball would collide with the bat, then what would happen? That I would show you. That when the ball would collide with the bat, then it would actually bounce away and in a in somewhere else, somewhere else we don't know where okay so the you okay move bounce solid true what we are setting to true is that we'll set the advanced bounce setting to true and I think that's it so it's so time guys ah, lol it didn't work guess I know why because you have to set the solid setting, the solid checkbox to true. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. But we need something else. What we need is we need we need volumes, right? We need some volumes, and then after that, I will show you what more we need. Let's first create a volume. So. It will be a solid object, uh, right? Remember to ch check the solid checkbox. That's very important. And so now we have to place the object in the room. That shouldn't take much time because I'm great. I'm actually super fast at such things. That's them. That's there should be a space but actually I didn't so okay so so but still we needed something else that the the stones these stones were supposed to break right but it it doesn't work first of all let us remove these stones from the bottom because that that would be like that would be have no make no sense that the walls in the bottom makes no sense the game will be super easy and there will be no game over or stuff like that so yeah we have to delete the instance what I was saying yeah we have to delete the instance and we will set the score relatively to five remember to set the other side okay so this is how it goes okay so, wait a second that's not funny that's not funny it's like it's like I'm chasing the ball and the ball is chasing me so I don't suppose that it occurs more often so I think I'll just simply remove the object I bet that it won't happen again but Remember that space setting that when when we press space only then the or uh, the ball the, uh, actually the ball will move right you must have seen in the demo game that I created so how we'll do is that we'll 
create a variable global space and we'll set it to false and then we will check in the left and right we will check if global space is false is set to false that if space has not been pressed yet then the object would move the ball will move along with the bear that's my idea that's okay now okay so let's just first try okay 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 so i think i have something like superpower or something it looks so so much funny actually it's funny ha. but that's not just what i wanted what i wanted was so we have we have to set the global variable to true right and we'll do that in this space let's set global variable global space to fall okay to uh, and when space is pressed then the object ball will move and now we don't need the create event anymore so i think that's how that's just what i wanted but yes but I, I still have superpowers and i know why because i forgot to actually i knew but i still didn't set the global variable of space to true right i would set it to true and now you see now you will see what i so this is the game that i created okay but I can still move through walls. That's cute. That's super cute. But actually, we won't allow the player to do that. So, that's easy. We'll just create a collision event with the wall and then we will display a message that hey, don't collide with the wall. You dumbass. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So, well, not actually. So what we'll do is that we'll stop the uh, bat from moving any far, okay? But the ball can still move, and that's not just what I wanted. So what we'll do is that we'll check if global space is equal to false, and then we'll stop the object, the ball, from moving as well. Only if the global uh, variable is set to false. Oh, wait a second. It didn't work. It didn't work. And I and I think I have to create another way for that. So, first of all, let us create a sprite for the new object that I'm going to create. The name of this sprite will be stop there. Right there. And I would set it to 16 into 16. Perfect for what I would need. So, I'm a great artist, I know that. Now we have to create the object. Um, or, or, okay, so I know the object's name is a little... Not that. <laughs> so, and if global space is set to false, then it will set itself to solid object. Only if the global space is set to fall okay wait a second um now we have to create the object in the room uh, but i think we have to add oh yes oh yes we have to add 10 to it to the exposition so it will be 42 and okay now so when the ball would actually collide with the uh, with the object then we will check if global variable space is set to um false and if it is set to false then it will stop right there and if it if it is set to true then it will delete the instance 
not itself the other the other instance okay the so now before we go let us create another uh, instance of the object just there yes and it should be 482 i think so according to my calculations let's see we uh okay so the calculation was wrong i think so because uh, the ball moves a little little right at such cases and so we have to i think i i must set this to yes so let's check ah perfect what i did is i said both the i said the object spr stop to invisible i made it an invisible object and i didn't make any other changes so uncheck the visible checkbox right but aha uh -huh, still we need to figure out some something else which i uh, guess you know we would actually create an event that when it is uh, when the ball is outside of the room or actually when it is when it yeah when it intersects the boundary then we will display a message that hey you are a loser you lose the game you can't even win a simple game you are a loser boo you are a loser but and we will set the lives to minus one we will give three lives to the person certainly three balls that he could use and you can even draw live images but we won't draw it here we will draw it in the query event of the object of the, of the bad object so uh, we have to uh, now and then yeah we have to set the lives to three in the create event because that's very important otherwise you'd have infinite lives so but still nothing happened i don't see any lives right i, I know why actually we have to s create the action in the draw event but it didn't work actually so i suppose that i must create another another object for that also and in the draw event we'll do that and we'll simply place the object anywhere and but uh, so let's see still nothing happened guess i know why because i didn't i didn't check the relative checkbox i actually made a uh, choose another value so i'll just simply set it to another something and i'll check the relative checkbox so that's how it is yes just what i wanted but in the wrong place actually so let's place it to the right place but before we uh before that we need to actually remove the valves right we have to we have to remove the walls from the bottom i don't know why i why i didn't remove them i, I actually I removed them but i don't know why i recreated them i don't know so uh very well so you could actually create a banner or something like that in the bottom uh and okay boo you're a loser okay boo you're a loser okay boo you're a loser okay 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 what the hell so i guess i know why this happened because i think i have to create another another object for that too so let's simply fill this the entire stuff and then we will create another object with the sprite and then we would set the sprite to to the empty spaces wherever you, wherever wherever you see empty spaces and just fill it up with the object 
Yes. You could even set the uh, uh, dimensions to 16 into 16. That would be way. Okay. And then we'll. So if, if, and only if the ball collides with this object, then we'll set lives relative to minus one, and we'll actually destroy ourselves. The ball, not the other object. The ball. We we'll destroy ourselves. I mean the ball. So that's how it is. So let's let's see. Okay. 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 That was cute, but where's my other ball? Where's my other life? What about my other two lives? We have to recreate the instance, right? If you know what I mean. So for that, we uh, what what we'll do is we'll. Uh, create an instance and in the Z5 and 5.5 five, five. yeah that, I don't know if this if this works because I've never tried so let's let's see let's see let's see okay didn't work didn't work oh wait a second the ball said you saw where the ball was right that was because I didn't check the relative. Huh. The ball was at, in the top, top left. Okay. So you have to be good at coordinate geometry for that. And I'm not that. So this video was, is, was I think so, a nice video. But, and yeah, subscribe my channel. You watch this now. And but but and but this is not the end <laughs> um no oh, you can actually I'll, I'll give you some ideas uh, how you could make your game look great and in the, in the last I will give you a great idea so what you can do is you can have like nuclear stones and which would give you some sp special powers or something like that a new ball uh, a new bear a longer bear or you can even have timer in your game if you like and i won't show you that because it would actually take a time uh, maybe 10 minutes maybe yeah maybe 10 minutes so when you when the ball collides with in this object then you 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 would get hundred points. You get hundred score, uh, and you get a new ball, and you get a soccer ball. You get you get two balls. Oh, everyone has that. So, anyways, I'm sorry. So um, that's how it is, and um, you can create your own fonts like. And scripts, it's nothing. Um, ah, yeah, you can create your own background. I forgot to tell you about that. So let's create our own background. But before, let me delete this sprite. Okay. So my background is where's my background? My background, where's my background? Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. No, 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 no. So this is my background, and. Okay, this 200 into 200. So, where's the background tab? Oh, uh, caption means the title, if you know. So, yes, yeah, that's our background, and I think it's the it must look weird. Actually, it does, it looks awesome. It looks like more like a chess game, but I think it's perfect for our team. But wait a second, I know uh, that, that because you have to fix that. I, I can't explain. I I'm not good at coordinate geometry. So, but yes, I've created uh, another game like that, and in which you.
can actually there's nothing much code that I've done so let me show you that what I exactly try to do and what I want to show you so you know that right but what we do is that we will set the image index to relatively we will increment it by one of the uh, not of the object for and then we would we would actually check if the image index is equal to the equals the uh, last Im last image index all right you know after when I saw you the sprite okay so that that's not our sprite actually I re-edited them for I don't know why I re-edited them but our sprite would be let's let's delete the, all this stuff let me show you from first so this yeah this is the sprite that I intend to show you so the last image index is is three right so the last image index is three so we will check if the image index is equal to three and if it does only then only then we would delete the instance first you would set this code to relatively to 20 and then then where's the destroy instance uh, where's the yeah here so then we will destroy the instance the other or the object right Ob object four okay, so it didn't work I guess I know why because no 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 and everything's great but still so it didn't work because in the piece of code if you see we will set that to other dot right other dot image index is equal to plus is equal to one right because we we have to set that to other i forgot that i yeah, so 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 it's working it's working very great actually yeah yes 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 you see first it is set to blue and then it is set to normal and then it's set to but you can actually have as many as you like the last one as you see doesn't appear right because so you can set that to letter to four four harder levels actually right and you could you can even have you can even make your wall like that look crack like uh, yeah, there it is that's what I intend to show you so if you hit that wall many times then it would it would be destroyed something like that and that's why you see the walls are cracking are cracking actually and we don't want the side walls to crack we want only the bottom walls to crack right that's what you want that's what I want that's what the players want so how we will do that is that we will create another object for that uh, it would be let's uh, let's rename the object actually but later so when it collides with the object then nothing would happen nothing would happen it would just bounce all it through so that would be a simple wall right you can call it a simple wall so i would name it as no crack wall so now we will set the no crack wall to the left and to the right yes left left is done and now right and we don't have to set the upper one because so that's the end guys and if you like this video please subscribe me